Serenity Dawn and welcome to the story. Today is my very first Top 5 Wednesday video and for those of you who may not know what that is, Top 5 Wednesday is a group on Goodreads and each Wednesday there is a new topic that is discussed and gone over and explored and it's a lot of fun. Sometimes I've seen the topics that and videos that other people have done, I can go, I know what my five would be, and other weeks I'm just sitting there going, crickets, crickets. Anyway, so, <laughs> if that's, if it sounds interesting to you and you want to join us, then check out the link and the information that is down below, and yeah, it'd be a lot of fun, and if you do do it, let me know, because I want to watch your video. I want to see what you have to say on the issue. And our subject for July 19th today is books that aren't inspired by or set in the Western world. And so my fifth book I chose is from, is the Book of Acts. And I chose that because in the Book of Acts, Paul takes his first missionary journey to Cyprus. And I looked it up because I'm not the most geographically astute person. And I wanted to make sure I wasn't mistaken in my memory. But yes, if we're going through graphical... I think it's considered Western Asia. There, so... And it is the second book in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy by Lainey Taylor. And in the second book, Days of Blood and Starlight, we go to Marrakesh. And whenever I was reading it, it just, it was so beautifully descriptive and had my imagination just running, just, oh, it was so just beautiful. So beautiful, so gorgeous. So, yeah. Days of Blood and Starlight, Marrakesh. Yep. Okay, so number three is Soundless by Rochelle Mead. And in Soundless, we are in China, and it is about a girl who, due to various injustices, um, she has to go on an adventure and a journey to try to save her community and but her and the rest of her community are deaf. And so that presents a whole set of challenges for them and why certain things have happened and creates a whole new level of challenge to her journey. Anyway, very, very well done. I found it very interesting. Um, I actually got to listen to the audiobook of it and I really liked it a lot. Um, it's just it's pretty spot on, um, in my opinion. I thought it, I thought it was really, really well done. So, number three, Soundless for Shell Mead. Number two is going to be the Age of Legends trilogy, and that is by Kelly Armstrong. The first book in this trilogy is called Sea of Shadows, and it is set in China, and it is about a couple of twin sisters who are the keeper and the seeker uh, for the empire, um, because twins are super rare. They just don't happen, and when they do, no mind. not going into all that. But anyway, <laughs> they are tasked with taking care of the spirits, and once a year, they have to go into the forest of the dead and soothe and calm the spirits, and then it's all good for another year. Well, starts out and things don't go as planned, and it just gets better from there as a reader. I mean, not for them, but you know. For me, it got better. <laughs> so, if you haven't read this story, I highly recommend it. 
it made me laugh. It made me actually cry. It made my heart constrict with the things that went on in it. It's just really, really, really good book. So, yes. The first book in the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer has us going to New Beijing in China. So, well, I mean, not it's futuristic kind of fantasy sci-fi things, but anyway, Beijing is in China. So, this takes place in New Beijing. <laughs> and it is a lot of fun. The main character in this book is a cyborg and a mechanic and she, oh man, it's 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 a lot of fun. It's good. It's well written. It is just it's 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 a Cinderella retelling, but with a twist. And I know retellings usually have a twist, but it's just different than the others in a in a good way. So if you haven't read it, do yourself a favor. And then in the third book in the Lunar Chronicles, Chris. We go to Africa. So that was a lot of fun. And then in the fourth book, in winter, we're on the moon. So we really are very well traveled in that series. Go to a lot of a lot of in, interesting and fun and uh, really just great places. So again highly recommend if you have not read it. Those are my top five books aren't set or inspired by the Western world. Now, if this topic had come up in a week or two, I would have potentially had more different books to recommend or maybe would be on a my list. But um, as it is now and not later, I'm going to sh share with you three books that I have to read and want to read in the next um, week or two or few months. And that is the Lotus War series. And it is by Jay Kristoff. The first book is called Storm Dancer. And the second book is called Kinslayer. Don't own the first book. I happened upon the second book and just sounded so interesting. I had to get it. Um, and it takes place in Japan, so yay! Love Japan and the culture, and I just, oh, so want to go there someday. Anyway, so there's that. And then the uh, another book that I have had on my reading list that I was hoping to get to at, towards the end of the summer or fall, and now we're about there, is And I Darken by Kirsten White. And it takes place, from what I've been told, in Western Asia, Southeast Europe, and Central Europe. And is this cover absolutely gorgeous? I just love it. I'm not a huge, like, cover by or, like, ooh, kind of person. But, oh my word, before I even knew anything about this book, this cover had me going... Oh, and now I'm paying this book. <laughs> That's not weird at all, is it? <laughs> but anyway, And I Darken by Kirsten White. And the last book that I have that is not a Western set or inspired book is The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Audier. They're retelling Lucy based on A Thousand and One Nights, and it takes place in... Arabia. Wow, I went blank there for a second. Arabia. <laughs> anyway, it sounded really interesting. And I really, I love how it's got the wall kind of like they have over there. And it's got the picture behind it. Is that not just lovely? It's another one of those. I feel like they got the cover pretty awesome. This is a good job. Anyway, I hope... I hope that this was fun for you if you made it this far. Thank you so much and congratulations. I really appreciate you coming on this journey of my very first Top 5 Wednesday video with me. And I hope that you will 
come with me again. I'm really planning on doing multiple videos in the next week. I'm going to be doing the booktubeathon and I'm hoping to do the challenges, uh, video challenges along with those, or at least attempt them. So anyway, um, if you want to join the shenanigans and craziness that I'm pretty sure will ensue with that, then be sure to subscribe wherever that button is <laughs> down below. Like. Hi, my name's Serenity Dawn, and welcome to the story. And also, I'm very curious. What book would you recommend that I read or it, that is not set in or inspired by the Western world? Or have you read any of these books that I'm thinking about reading or that I have read and perhaps suggested? Um, anyway, let me know. I'd really like to discuss it with you or hear what you have to say. And have a lovely, blessed day. Thanks for watching. Bye.